Hi, my name is Lauren Harrop. Um, my educational giant was Noah Webster. Noah was born October 16, 1758 in Connecticut. He was raised on a farm. Uh, his dad was a farmer and he was homeschooled by his mom. By the age of 16, he went to Yale to study law and he graduated in 1778. Um, he wanted to go back to learn more and further his education, but um, his parents couldn't afford it. So he decided to become a teacher. And doing this, he realized that the how like flawed the educational system was. In his classrooms, there were no desks. Um, the books weren't really great. Like they didn't have a lot of information. Um, the teachers were informed like they were untrained and um all ages like children of all ages were just crammed into one space so he wanted to fix this by um improving the educational system so he began writing um textbooks and um, dictionaries um america's first truly like truly first dictionary was called a uh, Compendious Dictionary of the English Language. In this dictionary, it included 37,000 entries. Um, Webster wanted this dictionary not only to uh, benefit students, but everyone. He um, This was published in 1806, and it took him 28 years to complete this dictionary. It's a long time to uh, work on a dictionary, 28 years. Um, in this um, dictionary, he wanted to set a new standard for American spelling and pronunciation. Um, for example, like theater instead of an R E at the end, um, he thought it was it should be E R, um, and that's just one of the many he thought that should be changed. Um, after that dictionary, he started writing another dictionary called an American Dictionary of the English language. He had two editions. In the first one, he it was published in 1828 and it had 70,000 entries. Um, before he started this dictionary, a, he learned 26 languages. Um, it's a lot to learn. Um, for the second edition, it was um, published in 1841 and it was just um, he made more corrections and enlarged his first edition and it explained more of how languages are formed and his son William G. Webster actually helped him on that one. He married um, Rebecca Greenleaf in 1789 and they had eight children together. Um, so that was his family life. He um, also created his own version of the King James version of the Bible. He wanted to make his own version because he thought that um, King James, his version was like, there were some errors in there and there was a... So he just, on his version, he made more um, corrections to his and he also changed some corrected some of the terms um, because he thought some terms were offensive to women so he wanted to um, fix that he um, you can actually buy the uh, his version of the King James James version today like he still has it you can still get it online um, so he was very impactful on our world because of his dictionaries and um, textbooks because these are still used today. Um, Webster's Dictionary, for example, that is something from him. He wanted to create these dictionaries to improve um, the schooling. He wanted to make not just an impact for education but just for American language. He wanted to have a strong um, education system and he wanted to have a better way to teach children from his first, like from he when it was 
be first began. He, um, he is really an important person of how our world is shaped today and how our school and language is. And he just is really impactful on our education and yeah.